All right. I'm going to take a streamer today, a um, a a streamer in the style of a feather changer. And a feather changer is, um, if you don't know, it's a it's a game changer tied with a hen cape. If you don't know what a game changer is, it's like a, a mini articulated type streamer. Look it up, uh, Instagram or something. You can just hashtag feather changer that's probably a lot easier to find if you put game changer in there as a hashtag you'll have to sit through a whole bunch of garbage but um, um, I'm only going to tie one articulation in this I'm going to use a bunch of different capes here that I have because um, the way a feather chair well the way a game changer works is it's really small material all the way up small, I'm sorry, small, and then it gets gradually bigger all the way up. And the, those big feathers, the really big ones you use, like on the head, you really need a special type of cape. And I think they call them like a magnum cape or something like that. I don't have that, but I do have some pretty big capes. Um, I mean, if you look at this feather, this is gigantic. Um, and I would consider that probably what would be on a on a magnum, and I have a bunch of those in here. But the tail has got to be something small and skinny. So I got this cape here. Um, I rarely tie wet flies, so well, I mean I have I just have capes built up like oh my god I got so many of these freaking things. So this one is a really ideal tailing cape meaning there's going to be a tail hanging off here and you want it to be a nice thin type of feather and i'll show you why that is uh in a second here so the hook i got is this partridge stinger size four this one looks like it's it's offset you could take some of that offset out a little bit if you just bend it a little bit offset is not a big deal but um, the shank that I am using is just this, this, what is this, this is like a one inch shank or is this an inch and a quarter? No, this is a one inch shank and we're going to attach that right onto here. They usually have a big side and a small side. Uh, any, there's, there's a bunch of companies that make the, uh, uh, the shanks. This one happens to be a partridge one. Um, so we'll probably do the big side here like that so it's going to be short you see how short it is but with the tail it's going to be that three inch length uh, thread is 60 uni this is camel the ones that I want to use for this tail that I'm going to first put on which I'll show you show you how I do it is I want I want to use this cape that has some very skinny feathers in it. See that? These are real skinny compared to that one I was showing you before. Right, gigantic. The, um, and, uh, so I got a couple here, and the way we're going to put it on is like that. Where normally you'd see a streamer like a Carrie Stevens and you'd put it on like this, right? Well, these, you put them on the opposite way, and it's to create movement, and, um, so, if you think about it, you put this on the tail, water hits this and it's going to make it like that. And um, I think I want these, this tail to be half the length of this whole thing. So, somewhere right around here I think would work. I don't have to take out all the fluff. And we kind of want it a little bit on the side.
get some of this fluff off. I got, I got two more of these, and I'm going to just... Two more of these same, same feathers from in here. And I'm going to tie them in at the tip. And I'm just going to use these to cover up that fluffy area right there. See that? It's kind of grayish. And this this whole fly is really just turning on soft tackles. That's 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 it, pretty much. It's just turning on soft tackles. See, everyone, every time you just gotta you just gotta brush it. few that I've tied of these, one thing I know is, is that the, the tighter that you turn on the hackle to the previous turn, the, like, the, the lower this is going to be. So if you, if you make a turn with the hackle and then you leave a pretty big space and then you turn it on again, it's going to cause it to go this way. So, the closer you tie each turn, the more it's going to want to go this way. And it makes sense, too, because you think about, you know, how close you make this turn right here to it, the more it's going to push it down. So, those are the two. That's just covering up the little back there. Now, we're going to clean this area up a little bit. So, we got... Now that we got this piece on, we're here, and I think I'm going to put a little dubbing right in here. I don't think I need to, but I'm going to just to, just to clean it up. You don't want to put too much on, because what will happen is, is that it'll cause the next feathers that you tie on to flare. So you really want to, all you're really doing is covering up. The, the turns of thread and getting you back into that area where you want to tie in the next uh, get you back into the area where you want to tie in the next uh, hackles there now um, I'm going to keep using this this uh, skinny cape right here and we're just going to kind of move up the cape I was taking them from here and now I'm just going to kind of take it from just a hair up Again, I'm taking two. So again, same thing. I'm going to tie these again. I'm going to tie them in by the tip. Two feathers, and I'm, I'm I'm doing what's called doubling. So I'm making I'm, I'm folding the feathers this side. It's called doubling because you're doubling the hackle. But there's two hackles here, so it's like quadrupling in a way. But and I'm uh, every turn I'm just pulling them to the back. in get the turns in remember don't go too far towards the tail or else you'll compress all these feathers too much and then it'll look strange so make sure you check it out all right, I think that's all right so we're gonna go back to the dubbing 
Now, I mean, I guess you could probably see now is, is that it, it's kind of a kind of, of a long process here. Just got to take your time. And we're going back to that same one. Still on this one. Just a little bit higher up again. Just folding these back just to get them out of the way. Okay, we're not going to make get the thread out of the way. Now this is one that I might not make the turns super tight. So all I'm doing is the next turn over, I just I just go on a little bit of an angle, just a little bit of an angle. And then I make sure that I don't trap in too much fluff. Now, um, with finish, just put some super glue on this thread. For now, that'll be good enough. All right, so now we got our shank, and uh, we're gonna put it on. Just like that. Then we're gonna take this out. I'll probably readjust the camera. Well, maybe. Let's see what happens. fine for now. Back to our same thread. Sometimes this can feel a little bit, if you got a good vise, it's not that bad, but it can, you can get a little, it can get a little scary when you look at it and say, oh man, am I going to tie into this? But once you get the thread on and you, you cover this whole thing, it becomes a lot easier. And, um, it looks wacky now. I mean, look at that thing just bouncing around like crazy. But if you go down, take that off. See how right when I got to that next spot, it really just completely strengthened up. So I usually do this a few times just to make sure it's nice and tight. Okay. And I think I'm going to go back to my dubbing. I think. Yeah. And I will just... I'm just going to just put a little bit on here. Just so that when I put the hen on, it flares it just a little bit. I think I can get 
one more turn out of this one. I don't know if you noticed, the way I'm cutting it off is um, I'm not cutting it really close to my tying thread. I'm actually leaving like an, an eighth or three sixteenths or something, which leaves a few hairs, but or a few fibers, but you just yank those off and then, or you just tie over them. And the reason I'm doing that, doing that is because I want to tie in as much as the stem as possible. I think that's, that's not bad. I jump the video so you don't have to watch me tie these freaking end feathers in every single time. I apologize. It's just, it's just, you know, you get the idea. You see what's happening. Uh, I'm tying end feathers in. Can I get another turn out of these? So I'll show you what I mean, this is that I'm cutting it, leaving a little bit, an eighth or three sixteenths, and you can see what it looks like on this side. It looks like a jumbled mess, but you can grab it, just grab the feathers and yank and you'll, you'll, you'll pull them right off, and then you can go over the bare stem. Now we gotta really, we gotta step up the, uh, the size here, which I think is gonna require going to the other, the other cape. But we'll see what happens. Oh, did I mention this double that I'm using here? I don't know if I did. I apologize. I'll show it to you right now. What I'm using is is uh, iced up pheasant tail iced up. Um, a little darker would be okay too. Maybe even one like this. What is this? Peacock, peacock black. That might have been pretty good too. Let's see what's what's at the top of this one. You know, the top of this one is actually pretty big. We could go. We could go one more. So you can see now, it's pretty big. And we're still going tip for right now. Tying them in at the tip. All right, now, yeah, that's gonna be good. That's we, we wanna be. We wanna be like right there. All right, we wanna be right there. And then, yeah. these are pretty big, and they're 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 long. This is a really. Amazing hand feathers, actually. Where's that fluff? I want to keep it pretty dark here. Okay, let's call it quits right here.
Yeah, you don't want too much dubbing here. Because we actually got a little bit to do. We got to got to put the eyes in and then we got to finish it off with a really 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 thick uh, bunch of hen maybe even three feathers so some people like to put the eyes in um, um, after this whole thing some people like to put it in before some people even put a see how I got the tail here they, they put one of those like this I'm not gonna put that on this one because this is a small fly um, but I do think that um, that uh, I think I'm gonna put the eyes in afterwards. So let's, let's 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 finish it up. I might even see if you notice here. A, a lot of these speckled hens, they're very close in color, but they're not exact. See that? You can see the difference there, right? And here's a small one I got over here. It's a little bit lighter. And I got a bunch over here. This one's like a really dark one. Another one over here. Um, so what I think I might do here is take take um, two from this really big one and one from the small one, just to just to tone down just to tone down the color. One, two, three. I think I'll put the. I'll sandwich it. The two same color ones on the outside. So again, we're just lining up the tips. Lining up the tips, but um, we really we only have a limited amount of room here, so we got to make sure we get to the big stuff quickly. You don't want to have to make four turns to get to the big stuff, because then you, you might be all the way through. So I'm I'm pulling off a, a good amount. And we'll fold this back. Try. Fold it back. There it is. So we'll just give it some strength. Uh, I'm not even gonna cut this off because it's gonna fold up right in there. All right. So now I got three feathers. Make sure you have them all. sure your thread is down. Good thing about these shanks is, is that it's very difficult to rush the eye because the eye is tapered. Almost kind of like a a like a like a steelhead hook, right? Or a salmon hook. in as I can. I want it to be, I want the head to be like ridiculously tight. Okay. some all right so now we got the eyes the eyes are a jungle cock 
Now there's your jungle cox. So let's see what we got here. That that eye is is that eye too big? smaller. I'm not a I'm not a big eye guy. I really I like small eyes. I feel like a bigger eye takes up takes up too too much of the fly. Yeah that, that that's better. And uh, if it's for fishing I like to coat the back with a little bit of resin. So I just put a drop on the eye, on the back of the eye, and then all I do is just spread it around with my finger. And then I just hit it with the light. That's it. Gives it a little extra time. I mean, it still breaks up. It doesn't keep them from splitting, but it keeps the fibers individually, like, decently strong. So we'll line these up. We want it to be right around there. Yeah. I think that's all right. I feel like they're too long. Uh oh. Samsung. That means we're gonna hear the dogs go crazy. So let's wrap this up before they do that. go. Oh, there it is. So I just, I folded these, these stems back and I'm breaking it off. That's all right. And then let's whip finish. We'll hit this end with some super glue. Yeah. I like this. I bet you this fish is pretty good. Small, but the color is good. It's dark. It's going to have some movement. Short strikes, not gonna have to worry about that. And there it is. All right, a little mini game changer. Well, mini feather changer, I guess this is, right? All right, thanks.